Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and today we're doing a bit of a similar video to a video done a few weeks ago where we reviewed the top 5 home kits in my opinion of Celtics history. Today in the wake of the reveal of the 2017-18 to away kit which was just revealed today we are going to do a highly requested video from the comments of that last video and that is the top 5 Celtic away kits of all time. This is all based on my opinion, remember, entirely, but there's a few kits to run through. There's some great kits that we've had. Away kits is a bit more variety, as you know. It's not green and white hoops every year. It changes. It goes from black to white to yellow, everything. Away kits all over the place. There's some belters. There's some absolute stinkers out there, but uh, I'm going to try and do this video as quickly as possible. It's not going to be massive. I don't want to drag things out, but in my opinion, these are the top five Celtic away kits of all time and as you normally would we're going to start at number five. So at number five then to kick us off talking about the kit being revealed today it is the 2017 to 18 away kit and you may be thinking to yourself Ryan for fuck's sake it's only been out a day we've only seen it a day we've not even worn it yet but this is a kit and it's one of the few football kits I do it with the minute I looked at it I loved it instantly. There's a lot of people who don't like this a lot of people are taking the stance that it looks like just a normal old man's polo shirt that you would see with a badge slapped on it and a sponsor but when you see the cinematics for the photos taken and the video for the promotion, it is such a nice kit in my opinion. I love it. I was looking forward to a dark green kit. I love dark green away kits. And you'll see that as we move on. But I just love the colour of it. I love the hoops. A lot of people are complaining that we've got too much green. We're not going to have a choice if we go to hips and such. But we've still got the third kit to go. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how that pans out. But this in my opinion is beautiful. And I had to put in a number five just for that instant feeling I had towards it. Of, you know, I want it now. I just want to have it. In my house, in my cupboard right now, I just really like it. I, I very much like it. So you might you might judge me for having this in the list so soon, but I think it is a beautiful kit. The stripes, the two contrasting greens, it's a very nice, I think. And um, I think it's a very, very classy top. And I'm a big fan of collars. Big fan of collars and a football top. Just, just going to make that clear right now. On to number four, and it is the only kit on this list from... Before my lifetime, this kit was worn in the 80s, it was the Centenary Away Top. I had the Centenary Home Top in the last video, but this is the Centenary Away Top. A yellow design with a kind of diamond pattern with a reflective kind of material at some point. Uh, very nice. I believe it was made by Umbro, and this photo is not made by Umbro, but that's because it's like a replica kit. CR Smith, very nice. Just yellow kits are also very nice for Celtic. Yellow and dark green are the two kind of ones I like the most when it comes to away kits, and this just goes very nice. The white and green colour as well, I think, complements it nicely. And I know it's a kit that was used before my lifetime, but it's one of those kits when I see fans wearing it about in the stadium or outside, I think to myself, that was a really nice top. And I want to have my hands on it one day, I want to buy it. I probably will one day get my hands on it because it's a very nice retro kit, I would like to have it. And once again, the Centenary badge is very nice, just want to point that out from the 18, sorry, 1988 season, as I said in the last video. But overall, a very nice kit. Um, you can't go wrong with simplicity in my opinion. So, number four, it is the 1988 away kit. On to number three, and sorry for the pixelated photo, it is one of the more recent kits, it is the 2012-13 to 13 away kit celebrating the 125th anniversary of Celtic. Once again, I had this season's home top in the last video. It was a very nice year for kits. Nike, who are producers of our kits for quite a while, this was in my opinion one of the nicest kits they produced. A very nice away top. You know, we don't get black away tops all so often. We also had one this season, uh, but until this season, this was the last one we had back in 2012. And just once again, the changes to the badge just makes it look a lot classier with the stuff around the badge. And it was just a very nice kit, very simple. And I always think the simple kits are nicer, as I just said. I remember also if you lifted up the sleeves, there was like a little tricolour, which was a nice little touch, although you couldn't see it. And it was just very nice, dark kit. Uh, you know, a bit unusual. Uh, usually associate Celtic with a green and white, and it was nice to see him go a bit darker with stuff. And I, I, I had this kit, I very much liked it. I remember Charlie Mulgrew on the back of my top back when he was class. But aye, a very nice kit. I enjoyed it. Um, I would like to see something a bit similar come out soon, although we had a black kit this year, you know, so that kind of made up for it. But a very nice kit. Back on to another dark green kit. As I said earlier, I'm a fan of the dark green kits. This was more of a different shade of green. It was very nice, so we're going back a decade to the 2000 and 78 season, the 40th anniversary of the Lisbon Lions. This kit was also commemorated to the Lisbon Lions. A very nice kit though. Once again, my number one kit in the home kits was the home kit from this season. So you see a lot of repetition. Some seasons we just had a very nice pair of kits and this was another season where that went nicely. The grey, a silvery collar, 
put with this nice shade of green. Very nice kit. Once again, these badges, the badges with stuff around them just makes the kit look a lot classy and special and that's why I like these. But I remember, you know, seeing Nakamura and such cut about in this top and it was just a very memorable kit, mem memorable kit for me. So I had to put it in the list, not much else to add, the Carlin sponsor looked nice on it as well, Nike done a good job with this one in my opinion, and that is my number 2 Celtic away top of all time. So that leads us to my number 1 away kit in Celtic's history, and it has been my favourite away kit for a long time, probably since the day it was released. I just love it so much, and some of you might disagree, it is the home kit from the 2006 to 7 season, another kit produced by Nike, Nike done a great job in producing their away kits I would say, some memorable ones in there and I've had three on this list though and there was plenty of other contenders but this for me is just such a it's such a great kit, it looked so nice when players were on the field, it looked so nice just having it, it was just such a nice kit, it was something different, you know, I've, I can't remember any kits that even looked remotely similar to this, it's the only one I can truly remember that had this kind of feel, the, the green stripes going down the way of the black, it looked so nice, one of the kits where Carlin really stood out, and I thought the sponsor looked nice, the badge, everything, it was just so simple, once again, Collars, I'm a big fan of Collars, I just, I'm, I'm, you know, I just remember like Nakamura taking some great free kicks in this top, I just, it was, it was truly something, it was a nice kit, I love it so much and it's still to this day and it probably will be for a long time my favourite Celtic away top, although this year's does have the potential after a, hopefully a memorable season to be my favourite away top of all time, but this for me is my favourite Celtic away top, I don't know what yours is, let me know your opinion, but this, this just, the black and green stripes going down, oh mummy daddy, I very, very very much like this top. So that's it ladies and gentlemen for this video. If you enjoyed it you know what to do. Hit the like and subscribe button. Everything is much appreciated. Keep up the growth of the channel. We're only 100 subscribers away from 5k so hopefully we can hit that in the next week or two. If you've enjoyed it let me know and let me know what your favourite Celtic away kits of all time are. Let me know if you'd like to maybe see a top 3 Celtic third kits of all time. That would be slightly milking it but um I'm not bothered because it gives me an excuse for a video sometime in the near future. As I said, like, subscribe, guys. It's been a pleasure, and I'll see you all next time.